hi everyone i welcome all of you to this lecture this is this lecture is more about pointers which is part of the fifth module i understand that uh, all portions in fourth module is not completed but majority of the portions are completed and the union uh, and and some small things will be covered in one lecture that will be done uh, maybe after some time but for the time being let us focus on the most important topic that is pointers i also advise all of you to have you know to go through all the lectures and also the textbook that is very important because only the videos are not going to help you you have to read all the materials which i have forwarded you that is very important also you can refer to some of the online materials some of the online videos everything which is already the link of all those are shared already now <coughs> coming to pointers pointers are considered to be one of the you know i won't say toughest but slightly difficult topic in in programming or in c program it is not compulsory for any programmer to you know use pointers but if you are considered to be expert in c programming then it is very important it's very important for to be for you to be using pointers in your c program because it has got a lot of advantages why pointers are difficult it is difficult mainly because of its uh, you know terminology is being used the procedure being used and and the grammar we are actually using it can be confusing at times but if your theory is very strong if your fundamentals are very strong this topic is not going to be difficult it, it's going to be very easy so i have structured this lecture in such a way that it it can make you understand properly it it it, it will make you you know to learn the things bit uh you know more easier way you can refer to the textbook it is given very simple easy way in in the textbook you can also refer to the textbook and i have also referred to that now let us let me tell you what's the definition of pointer what is a pointer pointer means it it stores the address of another variable a pointer is a pointer variable is a variable which stores the address of the memory of another variable that means if i have defined pointer variable called ps which stores the address of another variable called s then i call ps point towards s the pointer variable ps point towards s so make it more clear let me use a whiteboard here for example it may not be very uh you know easy to read here but uh, i'm i'm trying to make it as easy as possible let's say i am defining a variable called integer s equal to 10 okay the moment i declare integer s equal to 10 in any program what normally happens the there will be memory allocated for this particular variable okay every memory location will have certain address for example this memory location let me randomly call it as 102 and this is 104 okay now if i am putting in s equal to 10 let's say it is stored at this memory location s equal to 10 okay so what's address of this location that address of the location is 102 so variable s is stored value of s equal to 10 and the variable s is stored at the address 102 so if i am interested to store the value or this address so that i can later on call s also using this address okay so if i am interested to store the address of this variable s that is 102 then i can use the pointer variable i can use the pointer 
medium so let's see how it is done so this is a normal variable i'm using a pointer variable the pointer variable need to be declared first that is very important declaration of the pointer is very important it is not declared in the usual style usually how do we declare the data type and the variable name but here it is slightly different to understand for the computer to understand that the variable is pointer variable we you need to use first we need to use the data type okay that is the data type i will tell you what that indicate then you have to use a star mark okay that is called a unary operator used to show the variable is a pointer then i am just writing it as like p or ps or whatever any anything you can put over here integer star ps that shows what is this int indicate int indicate that this particular pointer this particular pointer variable ps is showing the address of another and an integer variable s okay not s it can be anything this int indicate that this pointer ps is showing a pointing towards an integer that is pointing towards an integer that's it what is this star indicate star is to you know understand uh, for for the program or the uh, the machine to understand that this ps is this ps is an pointer variable it's not a normal variable that's a pointer variable now how does it know that this pointer ps pointer variable ps is storing the address of s that is not it now in this declaration so how will i know that it is storing the address of s for that for that i need to write again i need to initialize or i need to put the value like ps equal to address of s address of s that is ampersand s equal to address of s okay so you have got uh, now the variable variable s is declared here and its value is 10 so a memory is allocated over here memory is allocated value and and it is stored at the address of 102 now i am declaring a pointer variable to to store the address of this 102 that means the address of variable s so i am declaring it using the first i am giving the data type or the base type i am giving a star mark over here that is called the unary operator using to indicate the variable is a pointer variable then i have got ps the pointer variable name okay so up to this it will understand that ps is a pointer variable and that points an integer variable that points or stores the address of an integer variable that's it it doesn't know whether it is s or anything else so just to make sure that ps is storing the address of s what i need to do i need to put here ps equal to ampersand s okay i hope this is clear if it is not clear to you go through this video again and again then only i will proceed next okay so the next thing is i will just show you in the mobile c application i will show you what is really happening so let's see this particular program i am going to delete this program just for you to you know understand it better i'm just putting it here okay so this is this is the base program what we have this is a template you have got and i'm going to put here as int in the main function i'm writing int s equal to 10 
okay just the same program what we have written in the whiteboard and i'm putting here i'm just declaring the pointer variable over here the moment i have declared point variable that is pointing s so i i know that that is going to point s s is an integer so i need to put like int int star ps okay let's say that is the pointer variable in star ps int star ps that means that is in for ps is a pointer variable see it is not compulsory for you to include s over there you can simply put it as p also doesn't matter so i'm just putting it as p ps uh, just for us to understand that ps is indicating s okay and then i'm putting it here so i don't know whether ps is pointing towards s so i'm putting it like the computer doesn't know that it is pointing towards s so i am putting it ps is equal to ampersand s p is equal to ampersand s okay now okay i have declared everything now let me see whether i am getting all s equal to 10 value ps value of ps all those things i can now uh, you know see through the printf function i'm just writing printf 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 percentage d suppose if i'm putting it as percentage d percentage d comma i'm sorry percentage d slash n because i i want to output in a new line so slash n backslash n i put here value of s first okay i want to get the value of s so it should return the value 10 okay then i am putting printf printf percentage d percentage d okay let's put slash n doesn't matter comma i want the value of ps you see here i am not using star mark when i am calling that function so star is required to make sure i mean to declare during the declaration stage only you need the star mark to show that the variable is a pointer variable any other place no other location you will use star to indicate that it's a pointer variable okay but star has got other operations as well that i will tell you subsequently but for the time being you understand when you declare a pointer variable you need a star mark but subsequently when you use the pointer variable you don't need that star mark to indicate that it's a pointer variable so that thing have to be taken care okay then subsequently i'm putting it here uh, return return 0 then I'll close the parenthesis close the brace okay so that's that's done okay it is showing some sort of error over here okay int ps ps equal to okay okay i have put an additional raise over here should not show any error so i expect the value of s equal to so the first one printf should give me 10 and second printf should give me the address of s okay address of s let's see yes i got it the first one is the value of s the second one is giving me the address that is minus one two eight seven one three four four nine two is the address of s stored in the memory i hope it is clear okay it is clear now uh let us stop this particular video i will just continue in few minutes
please go through this video again and again to make sure that you understand it very clearly otherwise subsequent portions you will not understand if this is not very clear to you okay thank you